to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb Glory 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 to the Lamb Lift your hands and worship For you are glorious And worthy to be praised you are the lamb upon the throne and unto you we lift our hands in praise you are the lamb upon the throne one more time with your hands lifted up for you are glorious and worthy to be praised you are the lamb upon the throne and unto you we lift our voice in praise you are the Lamb of God. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace that are hearts always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace that are Hearts always hunger for Oh, our hearts always hunger Lift your voice in one minute Liberty Church, the body of Christ all around London, Europe and across the earth Bless him for his mighty hand Bless him for the shift conference Bless him because your life is about to step into a new dimension in the spirit tonight is a miracle service bless the god of miracles and as we worship in your presence there is healing sing with me the holy spirit's gentle touch is blowing Jesus I believe Jesus there's healing in your name Jesus we There is healing in your name, 
Jesus truly I believe Jesus there is healing in your name Jesus ah, something special supernatural about your name Jesus something happens when I mention sing it one more time with your hands lifted Jesus Something supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I mention. Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb. You are holy, you're holy, are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, ah. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. Don't be tired. I worship you. It's a song we sing in this side of God's kingdom. Sing, Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you one more time Lord you reign forever above every sickness above every infirmity above every limitation a name that has been given to him higher than cancer higher than HIV let every other name fade away Europe, lift your hands in worship. Let every other name fade away until there's only you. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. One more time with your hands lifted. Let every other name fade away. Ah. Yeah. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, have your way. Jesus, have your way. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Amen. 
Hela baruski anda pratoski adashiada. Pray in the spirit. It's an atmosphere. The studio, the church, your homes, your offices. We lift you high. We lift you high. I lift you high. I lift you high. We raise you high. We raise you high. Let every other name fade away. Cancer is a name. Limitation is a name. Lack is a name. Retrogression is a name. But the Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name, that at the mention of that name, everything in the heavens, on earth and under the earth, will bow in worship and decree and confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. One more time. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Hallelujah. Go ahead and bless him in the spirit. Liberty Church. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The power of God is already resting on people. Resting like the dew of Hammon, resting upon every pain, resting upon every stress, resting upon every weariness, resting upon every retrogression. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship. In the mighty name of Jesus we worship. Hallelujah. I began to teach on the laws and the principles that govern advancement. For those of you who followed the first session, yesterday we began to discuss the kingdom principles responsible for progress the bible declares that it is god that advances men first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 the bible says and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and that brought your fathers up from out of the land of egypt and so we know from scripture that it is God that advances men. That beyond the seeming effortless progress that men make, there is an invisible hand that pushes people to the place of destiny. And that hand will push someone tonight in the name of Jesus. I shared a few principles. Let me do a quick recap and then we'll do the business of the night and pray. Number one, the power of vision. I spoke about vision that there is no advancement for an individual and a destiny that lacks vision. The Bible says, without vision, the people perish. Vision gives you direction. Vision constrains you to focus on the matters that are important. Vision is very powerful. Hallelujah. In fact, the Bible says it this way. Prophet Joel said, when the Spirit is poured upon all flesh, young men, 
will have visions visions not just supernatural encounters but they will find direction for their lives vision number two i spoke about faith the power of faith the bible says that god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent if he says it he will do it if he spoke it he will make it good hallelujah and i did define faith as the name given to the action that you take not just the confession that you make please follow carefully liberty church faith is the name given to the action that you take based on your conviction of who god is and the integrity of his person it is not the confession you make it is not the desire you have to obtain results but the name given to the action that you take hallelujah very powerful i i did share with us that faith is predicated upon two supernatural qualities of god number one his integrity that the first platform upon which bible faith is built is his integrity his unbendableness his consistency his dependability the bible says god is not a man god became a man but he is not a man he became a man so that he could die for a fallen man but god is not a man he is god and remains god and then the second quality that sponsors faith is his ability Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 now unto him who is able there are many people who are willing they have integrity but they do not have the ability it takes a combination of integrity and ability to produce results and the Bible shows us from Genesis to Revelation that God has both ability and integrity and I told us that faith is not just having the knowledge of your expected end, the results that you desire, but that faith must bring you to a point where you understand the requisite spiritual principles that connect to the results that you desire. You are not walking in faith if it is absolutely up to God. There is always a participatory role that man has to play. So on one hand, we know through scripture the promises that are allocated and then we find out through the ministry of the word and the spirit the spiritual principles that connect us connect our desires and their manifestation faith that's the second principle that is required for advancement you cannot shift from your current position to a new dimension in the spirit without faith hallelujah Number three, very quickly, let me just talk on two more. Number three, the power of value. Write it down, please. Value. The third key that advances men is value and productivity. Value and productivity. What is value? Value is a measure of your usefulness. Value is a measure of your usefulness. It is important many believers all across the world desire to rise to their prophetic position in destiny but they place little value on productivity we have lots of believers who pray and that is profitable we have lots of believers who fast and that is profitable we have lots of believers who study scripture that is profitable but very few believers understand that it is the gift of a man that makes room for him the bible declares and that it can bring him before great men proverbs 18 and verse 16 the word gift there means the value of a man in other words there is no space for you anywhere by default it is your gift that makes room for you very powerful we live in a world that is plagued by prejudices we live in a world that is plagued by all kinds of sentiments and biases it will take your value exceptionally so to stand you out and to give you a place in this life value is very powerful what is productivity productivity is value that has been refined transformed into products and services that are needed and useful 
That's what it means to be productive. You are not productive just because you have something to offer. You are not productive just because you like what you have. You are, you are not even productive just because you have packaged your value. It is important that your value be needed and useful within the context of a civilization. I give you an instance. If I am a professional typist who is an exceptional person using the typewriter, my value may have little demand or no demand as far as our current civilization is concerned. Now, I am valuable, but my value is not needed and not useful. There are too many alternatives for that kind of value. And that means that I may not live a rewarded life. I may live a life full of a consolation that I am not lazy. But as far as the reward that advances men is concerned, there may not be any place for me. Value is important. As a man of God, you need to be valuable. Valuable in the exegesis of scripture. A thorough understanding of the ways of God. You must be full of the Holy Ghost. You cannot be a blessing if you are not valuable. The table of greatness was so designed such that you have to bring your value before you are given a seat there. You're not going to come and desire to sit at the table of greatness with out bringing a constructive value the bible says joseph remained in the dungeon but when there was need for his value it says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon you must make up your mind to be valuable very 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 powerful the bible says in mark chapter 1 Mark chapter 1 let's begin our reading from verse 35 this is jesus now mark chapter 1 35 haven't healed the sick and done many miraculous and wonderful things the bible says and in the morning rising up a great while before day he went out and departed into a solitary place and there he prayed verse 36 he was so valuable that he had to sneak to go and spend time with the father and 36 the bible says and simon and they that were with him followed after him this is always the destiny of a valuable person. You know you are valuable to the degree to which there is a demand upon your grace. A demand upon your grace. The Bible says that they followed after him. Verse 37, may it be a prophecy for someone. It says, and when they had found him, they said unto him, all men seek for thee. All men, kiata, seek for thee. You've heard me say that there are things when you carry only those from your geographic location will look for you there are things when you carry only the poor will look for you there are things when you carry only the wealthy will look for you there are things when you carry only elites will look for you but there are things when you carry all men will seek for you all men and your reward is connected to your value there are business people who are average. There are pastors who are average. There are career people who are average. There are seek for thee. Many years ago when I found this scripture, I made up my mind that in the name of Jesus, I would be so valuable. Not for some carnal self, but so that I can have an exalted platform to be able to communicate Jesus. The reward for value is influence. The, the reward for value is, I mean, you cannot begin to quantify all of the rewards that come. But I, I believe one of the highest rewards for value is influence. No one will follow someone who's not communicating something that is worth the while. Are we blessed? Value is very powerful. Make up your mind that you will refine your gift. Make up your mind that you will insist until you rise to the zenith of your profession, of your ministry. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny.
Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos Kata Branda Kata Pakotos Koto Prekateka Nekata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline 